You know, Jordan, the doctors have just diagnosed me with a new fear. The fear of the largest Five Nights at Freddy's collection of Funko Pops. So I'm going to be really scared if I go in here and I see <gasps> Funko Pop boxes. But what? They're, they're all empty. No, that can't. <gasps> They couldn't be. Good thing my chair covers my entire desk, so I'm I'm just unable to see what's behind this chair. So let's move this chair out of the way and take a look at what's here. <gasps> ah! Hey guys, Puggos Pizzeria here, and in today's video, I am showing off my entire collection of Five Nights at Freddy's Funko Pops, as well as giving away extras at the end of this video just for you guys completely for free. So, let's take a look at the very first Funko Pop and go in order of all of them, starting off with... So, starting off with the very main man himself, Freddy Fazbear. Then we have Bonnie, and after Bonnie we have Chica, and then the next Funko Pop is... Foxy, and after Foxy we got Springtrap. So I'm not going in order of the games, I'm going in order of when the Funko Pops were released, so if that makes sense to you. After Springtrap we have Ew, Moldy Springtrap. No, it's Flock Springtrap. I think he's pretty cool. After Flock Springtrap we got Nightmare Freddy, a very nice Funko Pop. After Nightmare Freddy is Glow in the Dark Nightmare Freddy with some interesting red eyes. After Glow Nightmare Freddy we have Golden Freddy, who was technically the first ever Funko Pop to be released. So after Golden Freddy, we have Shadow Freddy. One of the really inaccurate things Funko made were the switch Shadow Freddy and Shadow Bonnie's colors. So of course, after Shadow Freddy is Shadow Bonnie, who's, yep, he's bright purple for some reason, which is... Get out of here, Shadow Bonnie. So after Shadow Bonnie is Toy Freddy, who's really tiny. So after Toy Freddy, we got... Toy Foxy or Funtime Foxy. So after Funtime Foxy is Moldy Foxy. It is the flocked Funtime Foxy. I love the flocked ones for some reason. Also, it's a lot shorter. I have no idea why. So after flocked Funtime Foxy, we have ooh, super cool shiny dark green metallic Foxy, which is Phantom Foxy. After Phantom Foxy is classic Carl the Cupcake. After Carl, we have the super rare Chase variant of Carl, the, uh, what it, Phantom Carl? Withered Carl? I have no idea. This is something Funko just made up, put some mold on him or something. After Phantom Carl, we have Balloon Boy, one of the largest Funko Pops. After Balloon Boy is Dark Trap, who looks so cool, who was released a lot later after the normal Spring Trap. So after Dark Trap, we got Nightmare Bonnie, and after Nightmare Bonnie is... Nightmare Chica. After Nightmare Chica, we have Nightmare Foxy. And after Nightmare Foxy is Nightmare Carl, who looks super cool. So after Nightmare Carl, we got Jack O' Bonnie. And after Jack O' Bonnie, of course, is Jack O Chica. So that's basically all of Wave 1 and Wave 2. Now I am missing a very few of them. Like I'm missing Glow in the Dark Springtrap and Glow in the Dark Foxy and Fuzzy Freddy. And uh, I think I might be missing the puppet. But I basically have almost every single one. So now we're going to continue on to Wave 3, which is Sister Location. Starting off Sister Location, we have Circus Baby. After Circus Baby is. Jump Scare Circus Baby. What a cool Funko Pop. I love the Jump Scares. After Jump Scare Baby, we got the Ballora Funko Pop. And after Ballora is Fun Time Freddy. And after Fun Time Freddy, we got Fun Time Foxy. And after Fun Time Foxy, we have what? What the? What? Jordan? Oh no, don't tell me it happened again. Ugh, all right, well, let's go to the desk, huh? What the? Bitten by an animatronic? I don't think so. More like, fell onto their teeth. Oh man, this is so confusing. I wish someone could help me. 
Oh, of course, Jordan, the sponsor of today's video, Morgan & Morgan, can help us out super easily. Normally, it can be scary submitting a claim, but Morgan & Morgan makes it easy as possible by submitting a claim in 8 clicks or less. And if you don't have time to submit a claim because you're too busy fighting off animatronics, don't worry, Morgan & Morgan also has you covered. There's no need for tons of paperwork or long, boring calls. You can submit all the information you need straight from your phone. If you're ever injured in an accident, you can submit a claim at www.forthepeople.com slash Puggos Pizzeria or by dialing pound law. That's 529 on your phone. Now let's get right back to that collection. Whoa, whoa, what a strange little transition there. After Funtime Foxy, we have Jump Scare Funtime Foxy, one of the coolest Funko Pops ever. After Jump Scare Funtime Foxy is... Bon Bon, who ends my sister location wave? Now, I know I'm missing a few like Jump Scare Balor and Jump Scare Funtime Freddy and Lolbit, but those are all super expensive and I don't own them for the video. I tried to buy as many Funko Pops as I could. I think I bought about like 20, 30 Pops just for this video. So I really hope you guys appreciate it. Now let's go check out the next wave of Pops, which is Pizzeria Simulator. Starting off Pizzeria Simulator with Rockstar Freddy. After Rockstar Freddy is Lefty. And after Lefty, we have... Happy Frog, who's happy? After Happy Frog, we got Mr. Hippo. And after Mr. Hippo is Pig Patch. And after the Pig Patch Funko Pop, we have Orville Elephant. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm missing Helpy in this wave, but it's a kind of complete wave. There's no exclusives in this wave or anything. So after this, I'm pretty sure is the Twisted Ones wave. So let's go check those out. Starting off the Twisted Ones wave with the super cool and super detailed Twisted Freddy. After Twisted Freddy is... Twisted Bonnie with his super sick giant rows and jaws of teeth. After Twisted Bonnie, we got... Twisted Chica with the melted cupcake on her face. After Twisted Chica is... My very broken Twisted Foxy who has no hand and no ears. So after Twisted Foxy, we have... Twisted Wolf... And the three toys of the wave are Theodore, who looks really nice, Ella, who <clears throat> I don't care about Ella, yeah. and after Ella is Stanley, who looks way better than his plush form. So after this, we got the Blacklight Wave, so let's go check those out. Starting off the Blacklight Wave with Blacklight Freddy, after Blacklight Freddy is... Blacklight Bonnie, who's nice and bubblegum pink. He just looks like nom, 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 nom. I want to eat him up. After Blacklight Bonnie, we have Blacklight Chica. And after Blacklight Chica is Blacklight Foxy, who mine has lost an ear. And the final one in this tiny wave is Blacklight Cupcake, who mine is super beat up and dirty. So all five of these Funko Pops are actually a uh, GameStop exclusives, a super small wave of only five pops. It would have been really cool to get maybe a Blacklight Springtrap or a Blacklight Nightmare Freddy, but this is all we got for now. Now moving on to one of the final waves, and one of the ugliest waves is the, ugh, the tie dies. I gotta do the tie dies over here since we have room for just one more row here. So starting off with Tie Dye Freddy, Heat, I hate the tie dies. Yeah, Tie Dye Freddy. Ugh. Tie-dye Bonnie. Yep, that sure is tie-dye. After is tie-dye Chica, and oh wow, how interesting. It's it's more tie-dye. I, I wonder what's going to be next. Oh wow, would you look at that. It's tie-dye Foxy. I can't... I hate the tie-dyes! Alright, let's move on to the last wave of Funko Pops. Moving on to the last wave of, of b -b Balloon Circus. Oh, I don't even like the Balloon Circus. Moving on to the last wave of Balloon Circus, we have Balloon Freddy. After Balloon Freddy is Balloon Bonnie. After Balloon Bonnie, we got Balloon Chica. After Balloon Chica is Balloon Foxy. After Balloon Foxy, we have Circus Freddy. After Circus Freddy is... Circus Foxy, and after Circus Foxy, the exclusives are Shiny Metallic Balloon Freddy, after him is the Metallic Balloon Bonnie Funko Pop, and the last pop in the wave, we have the Fuzzy Fox Balloon Foxy, but that's not it. The coolest ever Funko Pop made is... The Sun and Moon Funko Pop. I've already made a video on this, but I mean, just look at him. 
He is so cool. I love him so much. So yeah, that is almost every single Five Nights at Freddy's Funko Pop ever made. Of course, I'm missing a few. I think I'm missing about maybe six or seven. I'm not sure. But what about the giveaway? For the giveaway, we have a super cool inbox Hot Topic exclusive Sun and Moon Funko Pop. The coolest thing. One of the most epic things. Some other Funko Pop duplicates I have is Circus Baby. I have two Nightmare Freddies. And this is basically like a Funko Pop. A Purple Guy u So I thought I'd give away all five of these items in the video. Real Puggo fans, you know how to enter in the giveaway. So if you're a real one, leave a comment so I know. So I know the real Puggo fans. But in case you don't know and you're new, that's completely okay. All you got to do to enter in these items completely for free is like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment saying you finished all three steps and what your favorite Funko Pop was in the video. Because because I'm very curious. Personally, I just, I can't get enough of this guy. It's so cool, so unique. Funko added so much detail to the Sun and Moon Funko Pop. I just, I can't get enough of him. I think he's incredible. Of course, there's some other amazing pops, such as like the jump scares, maybe some of the classics. There's so many cool Funko Pops, so please let me know what's your favorite in the comments. And yeah, that's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you all later. Good.